What is a hierarchical cluster analysis and how is it calculated? That's what we will discuss in this video. Let's start with the first question. What is a hierarchical cluster analysis? A hierarchical cluster analysis is a clustering method that creates a hierarchical tree of objects to be clustered. The tree represents the relationships between the objects and shows how objects are clustered at different levels. But let's look at this with an example. We asked people how many hours a week they spend on social media platforms and in the gym. We now want to know if there are clusters in this dataset and perform a hierarchical cluster analysis. How do we calculate a hierarchical cluster analysis? The first thing we do is plot the people on a scatter plot. With this, we can now start to create the clusters. The first step is to assign a cluster to each individual point. So we have as many clusters as we have people. The goal now is gradually merge more and more clusters until finally all points are in one cluster. But how do we do that? In each step, the clusters that are closest together are always merged. What does closest together mean? For this, we need to establish two things. One, how to measure the distance between two points. Two, how points are connected in a cluster. Let's start with the question, how do we calculate the distance between two points? Here are the most famous ones, the Euclidean distance, the Manhattan distance and the maximum distance. Let's take the distance between Max and Carol. The difference on the y-axis results with 1 and the difference on the x-axis is 4. The Euclidean distance is just the square root of the sum of the square differences. It is calculated as follows. Square root of 4 squared plus 1 squared, which is 3.162. For the Manhattan distance, the sum of the absolute differences is used. So we simply calculate 4 plus 1 and thus get a distance of 5. The maximum distance simply uses the maximum value of the absolute differences, in this case 4. Now that we know what ways there are to calculate the distances between points, we still have to determine how the points within a cluster are linked. Let's say we have a cluster with the points Joey and Lisa and the cluster with Max and Carol. Now, how do we determine the distance between these two clusters? Here are the most popular methods. Single linkage, complete linkage and average linkage. Single linkage uses the distance between the closest elements in the cluster. So the distance between Caro and Joe. Complete linkage uses the distance between the most distant elements of the cluster. So between Max and Joe. Average linkage uses the average of all pairwise distances. From each combination the distance is calculated and from it the average value. For our example we use the Euclidean distance and the single linkage method. So we need the distance from each cluster to the other clusters. For this, we must first calculate the distance matrix. In the distance matrix, we plot the clusters on each of the dimensions and then calculate the distances from each cluster to every other cluster. The distance between Alan and Lisa is given by the square root out of 5 minus 2 squared plus 2 minus 3 squared, which is 3.16. The distance between L and Joe is given by the square root out of 5 minus 2 squared plus 3 minus 3 squared, which is 3. We can now do this for all other combinations until we have calculated the entire distance matrix. Now we can merge the first clusters. 
For this, we look at which two clusters have the smallest distance between them. This is the case between Joe and Lisa. So the closest distance we have is between Joe and Lisa. With this, we now connect Joe and Lisa to form a cluster. In our tree diagram or dendrogram, we can draw the first connection. Now we need to update our distance matrix. We decided to use the single linkage method, so the distance between two clusters is given by the elements that are closest to each other. To the clusters Ellen, Max and Carol, from the cluster Lisa and Joe, respectively Joe, is always the closest person. So we calculate the distance from Ellen to Joe, the distance from Max to Joe and the distance from Carol to Joe. Now we put back together the clusters that are closest to each other. This is Max and Ellen. In our tree diagram or dendrogram, we can draw the second connection. Now we update the distance matrix again. We calculate the distance between Ellen and Joe, Caro and Joe and between Caro and Ellen. We obtain the smallest distance between the cluster Caro and the cluster Lisa and Joe. So we connect these two clusters and draw the third connection in the tree diagram. Now there are only two clusters which we merge in the last step and we get our finished dendrogram. And now I'll show you how you can easily calculate a hierarchical cluster analysis online with DataTab. If you like, you can load the dataset and calculate with it in parallel. You can find the link in the video description. To calculate a hierarchical cluster analysis online, just visit datadep.net and copy your own data into this table or use the link to load this dataset. Then the variables social media and gym appear here below. Now we click on cluster and select hierarchical cluster. If we now click on social media and gym, a hierarchical cluster analysis will be calculated. Additionally, we can specify the label, in our case, the names of the people. Now we can specify which connection method should be used and how the distance should be calculated. Again, we take the single linkage and the Euclidean distance. Now we get the results down here. We see the tree plot, a scatter plot and the elbow plot. In the elbow plot, we can now read how many clusters we take. We can see a king here, so we take 4 as the cluster count. We can select the number of clusters here and then we get the 4 clusters highlighted by different colors in the tree plot. We see the first cluster, the second, the third and the fourth cluster. If you don't know what the elbow method is, please watch our video about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.